Russell Poole. Yeah, Russell um, Poole, one of the original investigators of the uh, of the the murder of uh, of Biggie Smalls, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Um, is this is he still alive? Were you able to meet? No, I'm we lost. No, <laughs> we lost uh, Mr. Poole um, two years ago in uh, 2015, actually. Um, he, he was still, you know, he he lived his life for the cops. He was through and through. He bled blue. He uh, he believed in his father was a police officer, and so he came from a world where LAPD is this bastion of justice, and he his whole belief system was built on we're doing right and we're helping, we're helping the other people who aren't cops. And when he started digging into the Biggie case, he just noticed some problems with, with the department and, and their ability to kind of suppress information, um, some moonlighting that didn't make sense, and he started trying to open up the windows and find out where all of it leads. And he had every door shut in his face. And so he just decided this, guys, it's us. We are justice. We can't have holes. And so that's why he was so passionate about getting to the bottom of this, because he cared so much for the, the confusion Valetta Wallace would have felt from having her son just disappear and have no clear reason why she had to lose her son because he had a personal loss of his own, and he related to that. And so, for a lot of different reasons, the case of, of Big became his life's focus. And up until the point that, he, that we lost him, he was still fighting for the cause, trying to bring new information to the Sheriff's Department uh, regarding the case, and Suge, and all this stuff. Now, uh, have, is this your first time playing a cop in anything? Um, it's my first time playing a real cop. Right. Um, and it's the first large role of a cop. I've jumped in before for cop-like characters, but I've never played a by-the-book, you know, Mike Ditka, hair slick back, mustache. I don't care about style or being funny. I right. just want to get my job done. And it was a completely new experience for me. And Anthony Hemingway, you know, I mean, normally I show up to a scene and, I bring some kind of levity or something weird or something funny. And this guy is so by the book. And every day during the pilot, I would ask Anthony, really, just, I can't, I can't chime in when they're making jokes in the precinct? He's like, no, you just, shh. And I'm like, all he cares about is the case. Yeah, 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 OK. <laughs> and I was sure I sucked. I was sure I sucked so bad. And I would go home from, from the pilot every day going, well, this will be this big stinker. I'm offering, I guess, because I feel, I feel like I'm just not doing enough, even though I was working my butt off. And Anthony kept going, trust me, trust me. And then when I saw the pilot, and I saw how he handled the material, how he captured my performance, you know, I, I, I don't think I've ever been prouder of a piece of work. <laughs>